Hi everyone, welcome back to Nick Snacks. It's Maria. Today we're gonna to be working on these beautiful cement pumpkins. I'm gonna show you every step from beginning to end and I'm going to hopefully inspire you how to make it all your own. Uh, just a few things that you're gonna need, um, a few things out from the natural or you know whatever you have at hand, but make it your own. So let's get started. So you're gonna need cement and make sure that it's cement and not concrete. Concrete's gonna have the rock in it and so that's not going to make the pumpkin smooth. You're also gonna need pantyhose or balloons, jute twine, a container for your cement, and a spatula. To, re to decorate your pumpkin, you're gonna need glue gun, scissors. Um, I also use some spray paint. It's optional depending on what color you like to uh, paint your pumpkin or leave it in the cement color and also branches to put on top of your pumpkin. So you're going to cut your jute twine um, to about five pieces. In terms of length, just measure uh, approximately how, many, how much you think you're going to need, depending on how big that pumpkin that you're going to make. Um, but I think five pieces is about right to help tie around to make those grooves in the pumpkins. Next, I'm going to fill the pantyhose with the cement. In um, my case, the pantyhose, I cut one full piece into two, and so I have holes on both sides, so I'm going to tie a knot at the bottom first, then I'm gonna start filling it in with the cement. Okay, once you have it to the size of the pumpkin that you would like, go ahead and tie the top of the pumpkin. Um, try not to do too tight because you don't want any extra liquid or any of the cement pouring out. Next, you're going to place each of the twines um, sort of crisscross and place your cement bag on top of that. Start tying um, crisscross uh, so you can make some of those grooves. What I usually do is I will um, uh, kind of first place them and loosely uh, tie them. And then once I have each of those in place, I will go ahead and uh, give it a little uh, snug so that you can actually see some of those grooves once you take that off. So here I'm actually showing you how I'm doing it with a balloon. I've added the, the top of a um, small soda bottle, a plastic soda bottle, and then I've um, placed that inside the balloon and that's what's gonna help me place the, um, or add the cement into the balloon. I'm using this container because that helps it kind of keep it all in place so it doesn't roll around and won't um, you know let the cement pop out. I will tap it lightly and that helps for the cement to go through. Um, I would let tell you that with the balloon it's a little bit harder to make really big uh, pumpkins but if you're making small ones this is a perfect way to do it I find that the texture of the balloon um, allows for the final um, texture of your pumpkin to look really smooth so um, you'll see that once we kind of uh, peel off the balloon and you'll see how uh, the difference between that and the pantyhose once the balloon is full with the cement, I tie the, a knot at the top. I'm going to cut again those five pieces of twine. I'm going to do something different here uh, with this particular um, small balloon. I'm going to tie a knot. Once I've gathered all the five pieces of twine, I'm going to tie a knot right in the middle of the uh, cord. The, uh, the balloon has a little loop in there where I can actually uh, pass through the jute twine, uh, which will help to stay in place at the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start tying at the top.
Once I've got it all tied up, I will place it into this container and that will help it to keep flopping around all over the place um, and make sure that it gives us a good base at the bottom. So this is what they look like. I'm gonna let them cure for about two days. Uh, they're fairly small, so this actually dries up probably um, in one day, but I like to make sure that it's completely all cured and so two days is, is perfect timing. So it's been two days and we're going to start taking off the jute twine and the pantyhose and balloons off of the pumpkins. And let's see what this little treasure looks like. Now I'm going to tell you, the pantyhose that I used are those really thick ones. And so it's going to, I'm going to need a little extra uh, pull and elbow grease to get the pantyhose off. Um, it gets... Uh, very dusty. A lot of the, the sort of powdered cement that's on the surface will start kind of, you know, going all over the place. So um, I would recommend that you do this outside. Um, it was actually raining this day. So I wanted to be able to show you, you know, how to kind of start peeling it off. And then I took the project outside uh, very quickly to peel the entire pantyhose off. But I'm going to show you um, what it looks like. And there it is. So I've taken off the pantyhose on the first one. We're going to do it on the second one and then um, do it on the one with the balloon. And I will show you the difference in terms of the texture of the ones with the pantyhose versus the balloon. After some elbow grease and patience, the pantyhose and balloons are off. So next, we are going to spray paint. Um, this is optional, of course. If you want to add any specific color to it, or you could just leave it that natural cement color, depending on what look you're going for. Um, you can make it all your own, as I always say with my projects, however you'd like to do it. Um, at the end of the day, you want to make sure it looks pretty or perfect for your home. So take a look at the difference in texture. Uh, the pumpkins that I used, the uh, thick pantyhose, they've got a lot more of that texture. They're a little bit more rough. You can always sand it down if you like. But if you look at the one with the balloon, it's very smooth, a very clean look. So, you know, it depends on what you like or you prefer. So this is the fun part where we get to decorate it and give it that final natural pumpkin look. In this case, I am going to use just a natural piece of branch that I cut um, into a really small piece and I'm going to glue and place on top of the pumpkin. This is a really small pumpkin so I don't think it needs that much but always make it your own however you'd like for that final look to be. You go for it. Now for the second pumpkin I'm going to add uh, this particular piece I actually found in a pumpkin patch. It fell off of one of the pumpkins and I thought perfect I can use that for my pumpkin. So uh, lots of glue to make sure that it stays in place 
and then I'm going to look for the best spot in the middle to add it um, but for this one I decided that I wanted to add a little bit more since it's a bigger pumpkin it could use maybe some moss it'll also help to hide some of those sort of open areas um, around the uh, the edge of that um, branch so I think that will work out perfectly to cover those little imperfections so now that I've added the topper I'm going to add some of that moss around it as I uh, mentioned I think this because it's a bigger pumpkin I think this would actually uh, would work out great if I added a little bit of that moss around um, the uh, the edge of that topper and it's gonna make it look very pretty For our last pumpkin, I've got two leaves that have that beautiful fall color in them. I'm going to add those to the pumpkin. I'm gonna add a piece of branch and that will finish up our third pumpkin. Um, first, I'm gonna add the leaves and on top of that, I will glue the branch. Now these are leaves um, off of my hookara plant. So I don't think they're gonna last as long, which is perfectly fine. I find that with my projects, I'm always recycling and I love to change things up. So, you know, once those leaves are completely dried up and, um, you know, I see that they're probably not looking their best any longer, I can always replace it with other, um, uh, other decorations. So no problem there. Because it's a glue gun and because it's cement, it's easy to just peel off and take off the glue um, off of that pumpkin. So no problem there. But I mean, look at that. Just those colors up against that white. Uh, it's just screaming fall. So I'm really excited about what this pumpkin's gonna look like in the end. So here are our beautiful fall pumpkins. Look at these stunning beauties. This only took us all together a couple of days and only because we needed to give it some time to cure. But also I wanna say that in terms of the expense, the cement bag was only about five or six dollars. Spray paint was another maybe five dollars. Everything else I already had at home. And it may be the same thing for you. So I encourage you to give this a try, make them all your own. And after fall, if you'd like to turn them into Christmas pumpkins, you can do that as well. Um, so many things you could do with these. They're cement, so they're gonna last you for a very long time. So if you like this project, please give it a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And so thanks again for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you at our next project.